Hello bookish people, welcome back to Amanda's Bookish Adventures, and it is Polathon and it is midnight. I'm ecstatic. So my first read, if you have not seen my Polathon TBR, I'll just tell you what read, what book prompts cover throughout the week. This covers two, so it covers prompt one, book with an adventure, and prompt three, foiled cover. So this one is about Herbert Lemon and his friend in the first two they found out what happened to her parents, and in the second one, they found out Herbert Lemon, kind of his story. He washed up to the shore with no memory. He works as this hotel as the lost and found guy, so he's had really cool adventures. There's been monsters in each book, so yes, these are really quick and really fast, and I am looking forward to getting into this. Now, even though I have four books this week, I have to finish The Bridge Kingdom, another book I'm reading for another vlog that I haven't picked up in a while but I, I remember everything I've read through it and I'm doing good and I do need to get ugly love this week so we will see how we do Polathon and the Bridge Kingdom are my top books because the Bridge Kingdom cannot be extended the other book can so that vlog can be extended and I need to start the retelling vlog for this month that other book that I'm currently reading is a retelling for March or April but I do need to start that so I am very busy with reading this month so I am excited I do like have a halfway point a couple halfway points I can't tell you much because it's a seek I don't know if it's a finale to a trilogy I don't think there is a fourth one so this might be a finale so what I'm gonna do is tell you how I'm feeling how if I'm frustrated with any characters that is what I will tell you about but I'm ecstatic Polarthon is back and I just can't wait. I thought about doing daily vlogs, but um, no, that is too hard to do. I did short vlogs for Bookmas, and like I did a three-day vlog. I had so much editing, and I'm sure a daily vlog wouldn't have a lot of editing. But I already have two other videos scheduled for, well, you won't see this, but for the week this airs, there's two other videos coming up this week or well I don't know there is no other videos after this I guess I could have daily vlogged well during this current week there are two other videos I just think a one week vlog is so much easier so much easier all right I will let you go but I'm really ecstatic and I am I don't know where we're gonna go for Polathon I have two sequels a standalone and probably a middle grade standalone. I don't know if that one has a sequel. I, the biggest, which I think would be this one. But I threw, I flew through the first two, so you know this is so big. It's a middle grade, I think we can get it. But I'm really ecstatic for this one, the way the second one ended. I do know this is the finale, so I have at least two finales. So, yeah. I will update you when I get started. It's midnight, like I said, I'm ecstatic. And I just can't wait to read. I was very slumpish last week and I had so much anxiety. If you watched last week's vlog, you know why, but I will see you in a little while with my first update. So I got to 121 of this. and I did mess around on my phone for a long time, so it's about four in the morning. I am enjoying it. It definitely is an adventure. It starts off, we have a character missing, we have new people come into town. Which is really good. We have a new creature we're learning about. This would be perfect for the Halloween time season because it is based in Halloween. They're celebrating some events in the special to the town. I really enjoy this series and I really do think it's the finale which kind of don't know how it's gonna end but just to be back in these ri this writing and it's so good writing. I remember giving Malamander four stars, and that's because they focused a lot on Violet's character, Herbert's friend who comes into town and she doesn't know. She comes into town to find her parents. They went missing on Erie on the Sea at the town, and that mystery. In the second one, we focus more on Herbert and more mysteries, and I really enjoy this, but I just, I don't enjoy Violet. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I do enjoy Herbie. As he's called and I can't wait to see how this is gonna end I do need to take a break my eye is twitching and that does happen so I will be taking a break but I 
at least want to get halfway today with this book and then finish it up tomorrow, but I, I'm currently reading two other books and I need to get some sections of them read as well. One I will talk about in this vlog and the other one is for a retelling vlog. Hopefully it comes out March. I have a feeling it'll probably come out in April, so I have to figure out what retelling to do in March if it's not coming out in March. But other than that, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm really enjoying this and I, it is a great way to kick off Polothon. And I actually read the second book, or at least this one in the Frost Fast series. I think it's called, this book is called the Eerie on Sea series. I read this and the Frost Heart series kind of back to back. I started this one, the first one for one of the mini thons for Polothon, and then I read Malamander, and then I read the second one and the second one to this Gargantus together, and it's kind of fitting that I'm finishing both these series off in this week. All right, I'll update you more probably later today. Ho hopefully, still somewhat early enough. But I have a lot of errands to do today, so I'm trying to get a lot of reading in before I do my errands. But you'll at least get one more update from Monday. Hi, so it is Wednesday. I got another migraine on Tuesday. So I just finished Shadowgast, and I gave it a five stars. And I don't think this is the last one. And I'll tell you why. So each title has been a creature's name of the book. And... They found a list of creatures, so I do think they, there, there might be at least one more. And we, it's just, I don't want to spoil it in case anyone, it's just the way it ended. It's really good, and each book gets better, in my opinion. Malamander was the low star I gave, it was four, but Gargantus was five. This was five. So I think I'm going to swap things out, because depending on how many headaches I might be getting... And I tend to get them a lot. So I'm going to still use this one as an adventure. But I, because it's closer, I found out the British cover, or at least one cover of Frostfire, has um, metallic on it. So I'm going to be using this for cold word in the title and metallic. And it's short. It's only 200 pages. So I do think I could get this done today as well. Yeah, I'm just hanging in with headaches and stuff, but uh, that was a good start to hold on. So I don't know if a new book has been announced. So I think that's what I'm going to do is take a break and get some fluids and stuff and walk around and then start this. But I want to see if there is another Eerie on Sea book. All right, I will update you when I get halfway in this and tell you how I'm feeling. I believe this is a standalone, so it makes me happy it's a standalone. All right, I'll update you in a while. Here's the messy floor. I just thought I would show you something handsome. Just woke up and he's just being cute. Excuse this, I just put on some face cream. So I do have an update. I got to 51 in this on Thursday and then I got another headache, but my main priority, it is Friday night at midnight, is to finish this. I also got halfway through this. I need to finish this and start the sequel because they both have to go back on Monday. But for Polathon, I am still, if I finish that and get, finish both these, I will try to get reading into Frostheart tonight, or well, after I finish these, I'll try to get some reading in Frostheart and Twaiter's Crean. I figured I should talk about what I read because I understand this a bit more. So, Bear Village has an, an iceberg that's very sacred that can give, if they pass the test by a priest or priestess, they can go up on the journey to the mountain and get a, I think it's like a heart sliver and around the neck and the iceberg can reject you. Well, it's very trying that she, the main character, Sabrina, I want to say, or Sa, yeah, Sabrina, that's what I'm going to call her. Um, she needs to get one because their village is currently struggling politically with another village and a war could break out. So she does definitely needs to get one. Um, 
when so you start off with the prologue where she's already at the mountain and then you go into the book and you go into the journey and things like that so this is really quick 51 pages I still need to get to the halfway mark but I'm okay with when I get ahead to just stop but this is really good and I don't know what my rating is because I only read 50 pages but I do I'm really enjoying the writing so that is what I can say we'll just see how the other half of the writing goes now this like 130 I'm understanding it more she the main character Laura like I've said in last week's vlog when I read she was tra it's enemies to lovers and she was trained with her sisters in a resort desert everything they were tortured so they could learn how to restrain it all it is is to fight and kill the king her husband so her people could get the bridge because they're starving but you get hints like even if we send this doesn't matter their people aren't going to get it so i think my which i really think and i don't care if it spoils is that her father has enough things to feed people he has a harem he's probably feeding all the nobles he's not feeding his people in the country so that's really intriguing to see where we go i mean there's little chemistry scenes between them and their chemistry is really good their relationship's good but the thing is she knows she's gonna betray him so she's like yeah but it's just a lie and she was trained so it's getting really interesting i like that it's dual perspective and it's not just laura's perspective because i think that would ruin this book i think we need to have aaron's perspective to see what his side of the story is and what his people's side are which is really good and i just love the his kingdom and we've got to explore a little bit of it so i'm really intrigued to go more i'm nervous because when this ends trader queen picks up and i did get spoiled a little bit for it i, I lied in last week's vlog i just forgot i got spoiled and then as i'm reading this i'm remembering that spoiler so i'm really nervous for trader queen but all good so yeah i am going to pick up reading i thought i'd show you something fun i got for my birthday even though it's not till the 25th i got thumb readers i'm gonna try them out because certain books paperbacks don't bug my thumbs a lot but i'm still gonna use them but when it's a hefty book like over 600 pages or a heavy hardback that's when i start feeling the strain in my thumbs and everything else so i'm going to read those books with one of those and see how my reading is and how I enjoy it. All right, it's, I'm going to get back reading and I will update you when I finish this. My goal is to finish this, that is a priority. And then I will start this back up again. If I can finish these two today and at least read some Frostheart or even some Traitor's Queen and just get them done for the week, I will, I will be happy because I am still currently in another book for another vlog. I haven't read because pull-a-thon and this and I slumped last week so I want to finish these and finish those other two and at least get a section of that other book for the other vlog but I'm not gonna force it these are my priorities today I think I could get Trader's Queen and Frostheart or well it's the rise of the never eater but Frostheart 3 done if I split half the books and I'm pretty sure Frostheart is gonna be fast all right this is a long update so I will let you go and I will update you when I finish the Bridge King Saturday morning, 5.30, and I finished this. I got to 200 last night and had a headache. I'm trying to be quiet because my door is open, but um, it's a five star and I don't think I'm gonna finish Polithon, which I'm sad, but I slumped so bad. Maybe if I can finish this today, I might be able to finish Polithon, but that was a five star. I knew it was gonna happen. Like, there were hints in the book. But yeah, it's obvious what was gonna happen. I just, I don't know. So now that that ending happened, right onto this one, I don't know what to do because that was so good and I wish I could count it as a prompt for pull-a-thon. Maybe I can? I think this book has a metallic cover, so maybe I'll count it as a book for pulling on, but that still means I need to read a book with a cold word in the title. And I don't know. That was so bad. That ending. 
Oh, and I knew it was coming. I just, I'm nervous because I don't know how this is going to end. And I don't know with what happened at the end of that book, if it could, if this book's can fix anything. But we'll see, and I don't want to spoil anything, but that was really good writing, and I know it took me a while with all my headaches and stuff, but it was beautifully, like, the world and the politics was awesome, so I'm really excited to get into this. Yeah, but I think I need to look up before, uh, if I could use that for my palette cover to see if it does have a metallic cover, because that would be nice. And I, I know the hardback cover, like, if you take off the Just jacket, it has metallic, but we'll see. If not, maybe I could find a small little graphic novel or something that has an ice word in it. All right, well, I will update you later, probably when I get halfway through Trader's Screen, and I won't say anything about the plot. I'll just tell you how I had so much anxiety <laughs> towards the end of that book, and I'll tell you how much anxiety. But I do love Laura and Aaron, and the writing is so good, and the world building. I can't wait. I know the third book is out for the next duology, like the next duology's first book is out, but I don't. I think you, honestly, I, I want to own these. I know I got them from the library, but I, I think I'll buy that and save it till the second one comes out because I think it's just smarter to read it back to back because I've read duologies before and I've never picked it. Sometimes I haven't even picked up the second book because of how long in between those books came out. And sometimes, yeah, it's worth a reread, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, but I will let you go and get started on that. So I finished The Traitor Queen, and I was nervous the entire time, but Aaron and Laura's love and everything they've overcome, and that ending was good. So the next couple in the duology I did not expect. I thought it would be another, or at least another character, but I think after they complete the next duology, then it'll be that character from this book series, but they're really good, and yeah, it's only 10, so I should have enough time to finish this. And it's still Saturday, so I should have enough time to finish this. And then read Frostheart tomorrow, and then Polython is done. So maybe I will consider get Polython done. I need to eat. I haven't even gotten ready today. All what I did was change my clothes when I got up. So, yeah. I just, I can't with that. I, I plan on buying these really soon in the next couple months just so I can have my own copy and buying the third copy, but I'm not reading the third one until I have the next one. I think it made more sense. I had so much more love for these because I read them back to back, and I think that's what I'll probably have to end up doing with Deologies now. That's why... I don't know, we'll see. I might not do it for every du duology, but maybe I'll reread the first one. If it's one that comes out that I really love, I'll just reread it and get the next one and read, read them both at the same time because I had so much emotion reading those back to back and so much thrill and like, they were so good. It makes more sense to have read them back to back in my opinion. So I plan on getting the third one and then getting the third one, the fourth one, which, I checked on the third one's release. The paperback's not till like May, and the author wrote it's an, they're exclusive to Amazon. So like, for the first six months, Amazon gets the ebook and the audiobook, and then she releases the paperback. So yeah, I I really don't plan on reading that book until I have the second one in my hands, or at least it, the ebook copy and read them back to back. All right, I'll get off topic. Uh I will who. Oh get something to eat and get ready for the day and work on this and when I get halfway I will update you. Hi so I got to 1:30, so I'm considering that halfway so I had to go back because I didn't know if I talked about it in the vlog that I talked about the prologue right so you start off with the prologue where she already did the journey to the mountain and she's going to get our hearts the red eyes and then you go back six months and or about a year or six months and then you kind of read her story with her sibling and her family and what led on and then after she passed her test or whatever to go on to the journey we cut straight back into where she's going to get the ice sliver 
that is kind of where I'm annoyed. I think the writing is great. This book is really short and it cuts off like the whole part, like prologue, she's on the way to Mount. It like, even in the synopsis, I think it says, here, let me, that they, it talks about a dangerous pilgrimage. And yes, where she is, is very dangerous in this pilgrimage, but it didn't even, like, we didn't even get this pilgrimage. I mean, now we are, but it's just the events after she got to the ice thing. And it's just, I think this should have been maybe a hundred pages longer. That's all I'm going to say. I'm really enjoying the writing. I just think the downside of it being short is we're missing things. But that's all. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm enjoying learning more and learning more about her people and her history. That being said, because I'm halfway, I feel like this is going to be a four star. I don't feel like it's going to be lower, but it really just depends on how the next half of the book is going to go. But I did not... I was at 51 pages when the last time I updated you about this. I can finish this before and maybe start some of Frostheart, the third one, or the Rise of the Never World Eater. I don't have it on me currently. It's in my room. But this covers two prompts. The, the cold word in the title and the British cover has metallic, right? Perfect. The Frost Heart is going to cover ice magic, or the third Frost Heart is going to cover ice magic and a polathon book and a pole fantasy. So, yeah, that means in today I have finished, even though I was halfway through the Bridge Kingdom, I would have finished three books today. But this, I was already halfway into this, too, well, quarter into this. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm having less anxieties about not finishing Polathon now that I finished Traitor's Queen and I'm halfway through this and it's still Saturday and it's only like one. I'm having less anxiety about it because I've never not completed Polathon. So I was kind of with headaches and being slumpy in the first week of, well, not the first week, but the first couple days of February and only reading two graphic novels. And I started The Bridge Kingdom last week, but I just got slumpy. And I had an ADHD brain, like, oh yeah, I normally with ADHD brain, I have to do like 12 things at once. Like I have to have music or something. Sprints have helped me definitely focus during reading, but I'm trying not to rely on those because they're not going to be on every single day I want to read. But I was reading Bridge Kingdom last week while watching a TV show and I just got more into the show. Even though it, the Bridge Kingdom is a five star, it was slow at the start. Trader's Queen was really fast and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed both of them and they were both five stars. It was just slow, so at least the first hundred pages. To me, I, it felt slow. But once it got going, it was good. I was able to keep focus in it. This is probably gonna be a long vlog, but I will let you go and I will talk to you guys when I finish this. Finished it. So, it was a four stars and Maybe it didn't need those extra hundred pages, but I don't think, for me, I don't think that the prologue should have been the prologue. I think that should have been continuing on to that. I think the prologue should have been like the first chapter. That's just me, but I did enjoy this. I need to put this on the polathon site for the two prompts, or the sign-up sheet, and then I will go to my room and get Frostheart. I don't think I'm going to finish frost heart today but I at least I'm gonna get into 100 pages reading three books my eyes are tired so I'm going to take a break and start frost heart and if I finish it tonight or when I wake up I finish it I'm gonna end the vlog after I finish the third frost heart vlog book it's it's called like the rise of the never eater once I finish that book, I'm ending this vlog because I, oh, I'm so tired. Not of reading, it's just a lot of pressure to finish, but this helps me finish two Polar Thon prompts and I'm ecstatic for that. And it, it is, is a good book. I really did enjoy it. I just didn't enjoy the prologue. I think the the prologue should have been the first chapter or something. That's my opinion though. It was, I'm just glad to have finished it. 
Now I have two more prompts and I'm done with Polython. So I'm just happy the anxiety of getting this done and the other one done. That means I did not fail Polython. And even if it wasn't a fail, I did read one book. If I failed, not read this or the next book, I at least read one for Polython. So I'm not going to count that as a fail. Still, a lot of reading today, but really good. And I really enjoyed it. So I didn't read Frostheart. It's Sunday. I'm just not in the mood. I feel like what I want to do is get the books and oh, read them all together and experience because I don't. I remember the second book, but I don't really remember the first book. So I went on Libby and I found the Ice Dragon and I'm using that for Ice Magic and a Polo Fantasy and that is it. I have finished Polothon and I am happy. I, should have, I tried last month to see if it was available and it wasn't so I'm really just I'm really glad it was available today. That is it for the end of Polothon and this vlog. I need a break just to watch TV or whatever. I will see you next week when I start another vlog tomorrow, but I can't believe Polathon's over. Hopefully we get another mini retreat. Tell me if you did Polathon, I'd love to hear it and I would love to hear what you've read. That's it for now.